Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a web view. Now web views are brilliant for showing off your website, your Twitter, Facebook or YouTube or anything else on the internet and they're brilliant because they allow you to stay in the application so your users could be messing around with your app and then all of a sudden want to check out your website and once they finish looking at your website they simply press the back button and go straight back back into the application so we're going to start by going to Xcode file new project make sure it's a view based application for the iPhone and I'll name this web nice and simple save that now I'll make this bigger so we can all see and our first thing you're going to do is go into our classes file it's a view controller.h and we're going to start with our IB outlet button. So IB outlet space. Now, as it's a web view, we type in URI web view space star. And I'll name the web view web view. Nice and simple. End it with a semicolon. And save that. So then, once we add our outlet button, we can go into our resources, into the view controller.nib. And this is where we'll add our web view and four buttons. One will be the back button, one will be the forward button, one will be the refresh, and the last one will be the stop button. This just simple buttons you'll find on a normal web browser. Let me just wait for this to load up there. Okay then. So we're gonna go wanna scroll down and find a tab, toolbar sorry, and place the toolbar at the bottom. And then we simply click on the item, and then we're going to want four of these all together. So copy and paste it three times. And the first one we'll name back, as it will be the back button. Second one, forward. Now the third one is going to be our refresh button. And instead of typing refresh, we can actually go into our identifier, change it from custom all the way down to refresh. And it gives it a little symbol. And the same with the last button, which we want to call it the stop button. Again, we go into our identifier, change it from custom all the way down to stop. So we've got our buttons there, and we want to get, grab a flexible space bar button and place that in the middle so it separates them to either side, makes it look a lot better. And then lastly, we want to add, a, add in our web view. So we just find the web view and drag that onto there. And then we go to our files owner into our collections and we drag the web view to our web view and then once you've done that we simply click on the web view and then we get more actions come up here and we simply drag the go back to the back button go forward to the forward button reload to the reload or refresh button however you want to call it and the stop loading to the stop button and that's all that's needed to be done there so we can simply save that and quit <coughs> Now so far, once the application loads up, nothing will really load up in the um, web view as we haven't set it to any website whatsoever yet. So let's start by, I'm going to simply set up this one to my Twitter. So if we go into our viewcontroller.m and we start by putting dash bracket void. I'll zoom in for you so you can all see. Void bracket view did you did load space curly bracket enter bracket web view space load request and in this highlighted section here we put bracket capital N S U R L request space request with URL here and in this highlighted section, we again bracket nsurl space url with string. And in this highlighted section here will be the um, web address to our or to my Twitter as what I'm setting it to. So I simply put the at symbol quotation mark. Oh, and then we type in our well my Twitter address, which is h take a capital. HTTP 
Ooh. Bracket. Not uh, bracket, sorry. Forward slash, sorry. Forward slash. www.twitter.com forward slash geeky lemon. And we add that under the quotation mark. And then we finish up. Well, we um, finally put three brackets in front of zoom out so you can see. And it starts closing up the whole code as you see the yellow little symbols appear. And that red semicolon. And then press enter. And we finish up the whole of the code with a curly bracket which closes up the whole code. And that is all that's needed to be done. And so once we build and run, it should automatically open in my well, our Twitter, well, my Twitter, sorry, or whatever to you have set it. So there should be no um, problems or anything like that. It's a pretty straightforward code. So, yep, yeah, build it, success. So now we just wait for the simulator to load up the application. And depending on how quick your web connect or your internet connection is, depends on how quick the oh, and it's done pretty quick here. So this is my Twitter already, and it's got all my updates and so on. So you can set this to anything for your website, your YouTube, Facebook, fan page, or anything else on the internet. It's it's a nice feature to any application, and it's it's. it's Gives it a lot more promotion on your side, and it's it's you know keeps all your users in up to date with all your well with you to be honest. And um, so that's it for today. I hope this tutorial helps you with your future projects or any projects you're building right now. Make sure you um, subscribe and like and comment it, and if you think I can prove them, prove the tutorial. Sorry, or if you want to request a tutorial, just leave a comment or send me a message. But in the meantime, links in the description for my Facebook, Twitter, and also have a few apps in the App Store if you wanted to go check them out. Link will be in the description for them as well. But in the meantime, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next tutorial.